Hello everyone, welcome back. We're back with more end zone. During the first uh, episode of this scenario, the Rom wasn't built in a day. We built a few basic housing for our people and we started setting up our scrap and lumber production. Now we need a lot of people to start expanding. We have a sort of stable supply of water and food. Let's look at our last season. We produced more water than we consumed and food still looks positive. We don't have any babies yet, but soon we will. And the good thing is, now that they are happy, the new babies will be born. No, give it back. They will live longer. Here comes the first baby. Sorry, Moritz. You were almost there. Almost. That's okay. Going to take uh, one of the builders away. Two should be sufficient for now. So we have a few resources, which is good. How are the scrap guys going? They're still working at it. I want to build a little bit of an industrial area to start getting access to other stuff. Many of our settlers are getting older and older, Chief. A lot of them think the time has come again to provide for offspring so that our settlement doesn't go under due to overaging. We ask you to provide us with dwellings in order to have children. Okay. You want one more cabin. So these events usually are pretty fine. They're like, what are you missing? Cool, just go up by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a cabin. I'm going to tell them build it. So we can get this benefit. Because we have 2.8 seasons. I could wait. But that's okay. A settler. So Morris was born on season 11. I think they take about 6 seasons to turn into adults. I'm not entirely sure we'll check when he turns into an adult. Thanks a lot, Chief. We really do need a new generation of offspring to be able to survive in this barren landscape in the future, too. If you see here, this has a, con a little red mark that shows that it's a confidence mission. If you don't do it, they will become very unhappy with you. And you don't want that. And since I have a little bit of uh, extra wood, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them a little bit happier with decorations. So I like the street lamps, and what I like to do is I like to place them here. Up. So cancel this. So some buildings have variants, like this one. One, two, three, four, five. So I like using this one. You can have a variety if you like. So I'm going to lock this option so it only gives me this one. But you need to be careful. If you build something else, it will forget about it. So you need to do it again. So I'll put one, two, three, four. And the little pro tip is never get over ambitious with decorations because um, they take a lot of precious resources and they also take a, a little bit of time to, to build. Are we going here? They collected everything. Uh, they can start collecting on this side. So all decorations have around the same area of effect. So this street lamp, if we go again on the local attractiveness, it has a pretty big one, but it barely touches this. So anything I build in between these two, they will take the minus four from the scrapyard and the plus one, I think, from the street lamp. Yes. So those are a few things to offset those negatives. All you really need is a plus one. You can have more. There is no benefit in having more. But, you know, if you want to beautify the location, go for it. Now, I can build some hedges for plus three, 25 wood. Or, I can build some flower beds for plus three with less um, lumber. So, I'm going to place that. I'm going to place one here, one here. Just two for now. Because these should get most of the buildings. It only won't get that one on the end, which is okay. 
We don't have any active missions besides this. Season 13 and more, it is probably around three quarters. Yeah, it's about six seasons. Food and water is looking good. So this little uh, orange line underneath shows us that our storage is almost full. And we have a little bit of a problem with the health. Did we run out of medication? No. Is there an area that is polluted? No. Okay. I'm not sure why this decreased, but okay. Oh yeah, and their productivity drops rapidly if their health is low. So pretty much, if you don't babysit them, their productivity will tank. And take down the economy with you. So this is my temporary storeroom. And I can tell them what I want to store in here. So I can go and say... I don't want any of these resources, but you can have wood since you're collecting it. I don't want you to bring like electronics, plastic or anything like that. I don't want you to bring any radiation protection here because I don't want to store it on this side. No tools. Medications. You can get the herbs because you pick them up from here. None of the community resources. None of the defense resources. And I will allow food. If I want, I can start tell, you know, filtering it and say no, only the stuff around here. But for now, this approach is sufficient. Okay, so the builders finished doing this, which is good. Oh, look, they took away the scrap pile, finally. Perfect. Let's connect that. Yep, more edge is almost there. Now, since I'm going to have one adult soon, which I can utilize, I'm going to go on community and I'm going to build a school. And I am going to place that here. Mm, where do I want to place you? I want it to be in close proximity to this. So yeah, let's place the school over here. What does the school do? Children who study at school, they become more efficient with tools and uh, radiation protection gear. And also productivity. So if someone that is untrained uses a tool, they break it much faster than someone who knows how to do it. Incoming drought, that's okay. And one thing I want to do is, I want to upgrade the mounted bus at the heart of the settlement. The bus can store resources and water. It provides more capacity with its upgrade, so we want the storage. But also, as soon as the bus has been hit in place, settlers can meet there and increase their confidence. This will cost 72 lumber and 48 scrap, but this is totally worth it. Because... As you see here, we're flirting a little bit with the gray and green area, and this will help us to stay consistently on the green. Until their demands get higher, of course. So, one teacher. For when this is ready. I have two builders, which is, are sufficient. So, this one's... How much do you... What's your capacity? I think there are 500 from memory. Uh, you do not tell me. Many of our settlers are forced to move across this wasteland unprotected. We should boost our production of protective clothing. Absolutely. And these are some really useful little quests. So I have 10 seasons to build one tailor shop, which is part of what we want to do in this episode and produce two active carbon masks, and the game will give us as a reward another four, which will help us. Food is still great. Yep, season... So it's four... It's four seasons. For someone to become an adult. Okay, that's good. 
So now we have two children being educated in productivity. And on the basic schools, you can only choose one. When we research better schools, they will do all four at the same time. And they will be faster. So the mounted bus has been upgraded. The next tier will require plastic and electronics. And this will be a town hall. But a town center. But we don't need that yet. If you look at the building, it tells us how many resources are left to collect. And it says there is only five, which is on this side. So while we wait for that, let's connect this road. And let's look at their attractiveness. Ten. Yes, these guys are fairly happy. And the game now will tell you that the production stopped because there is nothing to pick up from there. So we need to reallocate this. So I'm going to clear... So they are going to build trees on this, and these are preventing me from getting trees. So I'm gonna start from down here, because this will be picked up very quickly. And then I will move this up to clear this area. Pick up all the scrap from these cars, the scrap piles, and whatever else is over here. The bulldozer, nice. Would be cool if we could use the bulldozer. And we had our first two people die from old age. Yep. So Tyler, the Fitzer, died of old age and was replaced by another settler. And Louis, the water carrier, died of old age. Which means there is one more thing we need to build. And that is a cemetery. They are expensive, they are big, but they are very, very important. When there are dead bodies on the street, people are not happy, obviously. Also, when they die, any tools or gear they have on them stays on the ground. So what the mortician does is he picks up the body, clears the street, and retrieves some of those resources. Where do I want to place you? I can place you right about here, to utilize the existing road. And I'm going to make you a building priority. Now. When someone dies from a roll, if you have available settlers, they are going to replace it. If you don't, it will go it won't be replaced. Like in this case, I have three fishers. And now when I change the field of work for this, if you see those little arrows, this is where the two bodies are. So since people are working around here, this is the radius they will go out and pick them up. And I'll give them one more Titian when I have one available. Gotta increase the speed a little bit. Just to get a few things going, we have another drought, which means we have a lot more... Well, I have three more available people, which I'm going to take. And this one's... I'm going to... We didn't good and scrap. I could push on the wood production, if I really, really needed it. Hmm. We're still doing good on herbs, but we're completely out of radiation protection. How long do we have until this mission? Another 8.6 seasons. Oh, hello. How did you escape? Well, the settlers will start collecting this stuff, so they're not really idling. So I will let them do that, and I'll assign one person for the mortician role, since this is ready. And when I find the worker that is assigned... I can actually find him from here. Moritz! So the new kid on the block is the mortician. He'll go, he'll pick up stuff. Probably a shovel. You're gonna get the two bodies. He'll move a few things around. He took something over there to the storage, which I'm not sure what he placed there. Probably some fish. So how much water do we produce? And how much do we lose? 
That was last season. Last season we didn't produce anything because drought, so we consumed about 400. We still have a very good capacity. And since there are no workers on this, no one is utilizing this. So I'm going to place one person here so they can start storing water there. I'm going to put a few more people here and this back on the fishery. Only two for now. I'm okay on food, so I can take a little bit of a hit just to reclaim some of that workforce. Just for now. Early game is all about managing your population and their tasks. Later we're going to have a lot more uh, freedom. And yeah, the industrial area will be built on this side. So let's start planning for it, actually. We'll give something for our builder to do. I want a road right here. And what do I want to build? So we will need the shelter at some point, which I will... I want it to be close to the decorations as well to get the bonuses. So the shelter will be here. Also, people do not have dedicated homes. So if I build, let's say over here, a scrapyard, people who work on the scrapyard will automatically reallocate the closest house as their house. So they automatically try to get to the closest available. Try being the keyword. This requires cloth, which we cannot build yet. But that is okay, that's what we are about to fix. And now I will need recyclers. And these, of course, offer a negative mood to the people. So we're gonna go down here. Three, four, no. Four. Five and six. Now, recyclers, what they do is they produce metal, cloth, plastic, or electronics from scrap. So they need scrap. But all of our scrap at the moment is stored down here on the mounted bus, which is a problem. We need it stored closer because every time this guy wants to work, he will walk all the way down here to get a piece, go back, craft, take what he built away. So, it's the perfect opportunity for a temporary storeroom. And we want it somewhere in between them to make it into a little bit of a buffer zone. So, I'm going to place you. There will be six people. This fits 25. Yeah, I'll be okay. So, you can have one of those here. And I'm just going to make a road connection here. I'm not sure what I'm going to place here. I could place one... What's the size of this? 6 by 8. Yeah, the other one doesn't fit. Okay. Also, it's time to upgrade our cisterns into water towers. Then plastic and coal, which we don't have yet, but that's okay. I will tell them to, util to start upgrading, so they will start bringing the resources until it's ready, and they will still operate as per normal. So this will go this... So they can start utilizing our scrap. We're still collecting stuff, just to make sure we don't have any other bodies anywhere. Nope, we're good. Oh, first recycler is ready. Do we have people? Eh, sort of. Water is not great, but it's not horrible. So what I'm going to do is... I don't need the cloth yet for the shelter. So I'm gonna hold off into assigning a recycler. Professionals are complaining about a lack of tools. Maybe we ought to build a workshop to be able to ensure that everyone is working effectively. Of course we will. So same as above build a workshop, produce two tools, and then you're gonna get metal tools. But there is something we need more urgently, 
and that is a charcoal kiln. This will burn lumber or wood into charcoal. This is a minus five in uh, local attractiveness. So those are not beautiful. People don't really like having those close to their home. So if I place you over here, this will affect this over here. So we don't really want it. But I don't want it to be too far from people either. So I can try offsetting that with some decorations. And since I don't really have any people living in the shelter at the moment, I'm not too worried about it. But I will definitely address it soon. And for that, I'm just going to get this row to go around here, go here, go here, go here. I can make that into a double road if I choose. Uh, but for now, this is just going to cycle around here. I'll see what I'm going to do with this road. I have a few ideas. So, hey Chief, there is more and more of us settlers lately. If our population figures continue to rise so rapidly, it might lead to supply bottlenecks. You can control the population growth a bit by housing more settlers in shelters. Settlers in shelters. Or via the forum by prohibiting the settlers from reproducing. No, no. Oh, I want people. We only have four babies. They're not enough. Look how many empty cabins I have. That is not ideal. But something else about the systems. When you want to upgrade them into a water tower, you need plastic. So I'm going to set one of these as plastic. I'm going to take away one of my builders. And I'm going to assign him on this building right here. Just so I can start getting that plastic ready. And then I need the charcoal kiln. Uh, I'm going to take one of my scrap collectors away because I don't need them immediately. I have a good amount. If anything, I can take two of them away. Replace my forester because I still do need lumber. Ah, oh, our mortician is dead. Well, congratulations. Someone will become a mortician. Still have 3.6 seasons, that's okay. The charcoal kiln has begun. People are unhappy. They're probably unhappy because there are bodies on the street. We're working on it. And each cemetery has a capacity. 96. They decay eventually, but it's a bit of a slow process. I have enough scrap. I don't want any more, so I'm gonna take this uh, person from the scrapyard. I'm gonna keep him as a settler for now. Wood is still acceptable. I just need a bit more water. I need to be very careful with water. So let's see what this guy is doing. Dorothy. So you're moving resources. Yep, she went down here to the mounted bus to take the resource to build the charcoal. Now she's taking the charcoal back to the mounted bus. Now, if we prioritize these, you need 2.7 seasons. I need to build that now. Because building the masks takes a moment. So we have a few plastic at the moment. I'm going to switch you into cloth and tailor shop. This gives a negative attractiveness on the area. They don't like the tailors around their houses. Who would have thought? So the tailor is going to go right here in this little hub. So he's close to everything. And I also want a workshop, which I cannot build yet, but that's okay. I'll just place it down here for now. And this will be the building I want to build first. 
So I have one person available. We're okay on water. I have a little bit of charcoal. I need eight for each one of those towers and 12 plastic. Those are being built, that's okay. Someone died. Stella V, remove the fisherman for now. And this won't be built until we have the 12 cloth. So they're going down there, pick up the scrap, go produce it. So they use one piece of scrap for two materials. That's the ratio. And I'm also going to tell them to not build this because this will need cloth. So they'll try to place it here before they actually put it on the tailor shop, which is where I actually need it. Uh, new priority. Actually, they should be able to finish the storeroom, right? Yeah. So now I'm not going to affect that. But instead, I'm going to give them a little more cloth. So take one more refiner, just so we can get the cloth ready before this mission fails. Cool. So now there is this storage. Pathing should become much better. Water and food, we're still hanging by a thread. We need more babies, people. Now, there is something we need to be careful as well. So, if we go on population, we have fertile and infertile population. When they're exposed to radiation, they become infertile, which is bad. So, at the moment, they are all good. So, we're not at a risk there. For now. So prioritize this building, thank you. My single builder. <laughs> so you need 12 cloth? I have exactly 12. So if anything I can stop these guys from producing more cloth. If I really want to. I don't think I can do the mission. 0 0.7. Let me put the builders just in case they manage to build it. I don't think so. Because the active masks, the carbon masks, take 0 0.2 of a season. Come on, people. You can do it. Yeah, no, this is... This is a lost cause. Ah, oh, and the sandstorm. Yay. So sandstorms damage your buildings. And if they damage them too much, they become inoperable. And you need resources to repair them. So you always need to have an extra stash of resources. That's okay, guys. That's okay. It was not optimal, but it's what it is. So I will tell them to not store any of this stuff over here. I want them all up on the temporary storeroom. Tools I will allow on this side. Water, let's see. How are you doing on water? Still drain about 300 something. Yeah, you can keep up. we can keep up with it, that's good. So let's switch to last season, this is what we're going to work with. And here is all of our logistic buildings, how much capacity they have. Good, so the tailor is ready. I am going to place one person here to start making some neck scarves. And I'm, do I need more coal? Coal should be okay for now. 32 is plenty. I'm gonna take this guy away, and you go to make cloth, and you will make plastic. Give me a bit more 
water because we have eight babies that are about to become uh, adults. And our productivity is going down fast. Now we have no more medication. So the next settler, this person, will become our herbalist. Just so we have a little bit of herbs. I'll place one person here just to get out, get those 40 scrap out of the way. Yeah, there's Jaden and Jasmine. Are about to turn adult. Uh, this is 2.7 season, and I need metal. So change this into metal. We are okay on cloth for now. For now being the keyword. Um, you need plastic, which is getting produced now. You have the coal. Yep, so all you need is plastic. Good. A bit of a slower start, but slow and steady is important. If you snowball too hard, you lose control. I suppose I can let them build the shelter. And I have a plan for the shelter. Because I want to keep the babies going. So on the shelter you can tell them you can let whoever or old and infertile. So now I want the old people out of there to keep the cabins empty so people can keep making babies. School is still going. Good. Have three more people. Definitely one on water. Take one scrap collector and we'll need more wood so go on the forestry. The only building I have is this, so I only need one builder, and that looks a little bit better. And we have a little bit of uh, herb production. Good. You need more metal. Uh, we are not producing any metal, why not? Because we are producing plastic. I have three refiners, what are they doing? Okay. Pose. Pose, because they're working on the wrong ones. Metal, plastic, cloth. Yep. So I'm good on cloth, switch to metal. Also, I need a road. I see a bit of a pathing thing here. There you go. So this guy is making two neck scarves. Gracie. And food is going down, so... Fisherman, pull on. And now our population is growing fast. Let's build a few more houses. Uh, oh, we lost the mission. Oops. I wasn't paying attention to that one, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We just lost a little bit of extra. So I want them to clear this. So that'll be two, four, six, seven. That's 14 houses. I want 16 ultimately. And I'm not going to change into more houses for a little while. We still got some coal, that's good. Can someone build this now? Thanks. The houses are not a priority. Nowhere near. There is our water tower. We will enable the filter, so they will use coal to clean the water, and that will keep us healthier. 
And now I want them to finish building this. Good, they removed that. So here is the last house. Ah, here we go. There is the mission again. The game is like, well, you really need to make it. And now it will be easier to do. Because I'm going to switch to active carbon masks and I'm going to place a person in the charcoal kill. This is plus three, which is fine. And I have four people. Wood is low. So I'm gonna utilize the hand the gatherers. And now I want to start having a bit of a buffer when it comes to shelters, settlers. And go clear this section. Yeah, just go clear that. It'll take you a while anyway. Uh, change field of work. Three people can clear up this area. And we have a point of interest here. What are you? It's a sure thing this new tailor shop will do a wonderful job. We already started production and that's a preliminary figure shift. Good. Because now people will have radiation protection. And if we look here... On population, oh, we have infertile people. Now, fertility distribution, these are, are infertile. That's because they are turning old, so that's four. A four infertile. Age distribution, remove all that. Very old adults. Then we don't have any radiation issues for now. But we definitely need more radiation protection and we need more tools. So I'm gonna make some scrap tools for now. They are cheaper to make and faster. They break easier, but at least they will help catch up. So I have two people. I want to stabilize the food and water for now. So I'll just keep them as settlers. Active filter over here. Yep. So those are being built and of course follows the same logic of what is available and what it's not. So they are reserved. Now the population is exploding. <laughs> we have six people here who are old and infertile. People are making babies, good. And hopefully these babies will last longer at some point, when we finally get this going. And to keep their health up, we need variety of food. So that's where the hunters come in. Because they're going to bring meat. Fourteen children, which is more than the class can take care of, but that's not a problem. Because by the time some of them are ready, the other ones will come in and we should have a decent... Um, cycle of those. So let's look at education, population, education distribution. So our educated are going up and up and up. Yeah, we have 11 uneducated and we have 15 children. So that's pretty good. It's productivity. So Clothing, tools, this is pretty much um, what the distribution is. And who has budgets? We have a few people with budgets. Good. I'm 
not going to move people around at the moment because there is no need. And the drought just finished anyway. Now, if you want to switch those buildings fast, you can just go on this option. Click on them and you can see here what they are producing. So at the moment I'm good on metal. I want cloth because we use a lot of cloth. And plastic, I don't really need more plastic. I build what I wanted with plastic, so I'll have two with cloth. And I'll give one more person to the workshop. So there is a bit of scrap here, which they should take. Yep. So this guy goes here, takes the scrap, goes back. I think I'm at a good point to switch to metal tools. So I'm going to do that. Do they have any wood here? Yes, they do. What are you missing? Coal. We need more coal. Here, take another person. More people, faster productivity. That's pretty much done. They can collect this. So the water tower can hold up to 5,000 water, which is good. It's a very good amount. And we have the first homeless person. And that is why... Wind contains this from old and infertile to all. But I'm not going to do that yet. Professionals are complaining about lack of tools, yes. Well, I just started building the metal tools, so this will be done soon. I'm going to build the second shuttle. So there you go. And then we have a minus five that we need to offset. So I'm going to do this in my favorite way, street lamps. I'm going to use number two because I like number two. I'm going to lock it. Uh, where do I want to place you? They need a path to go up here so they don't cycle around. So you can have... Oh, I'll just make the road around it. No, that's fine. So you go in the middle. And you go in the middle. There are more people. Yes, the decision is up to me whether I want you guys to keep reproducing. You are fine. So I'm just gonna make this into a little um, square about, roundabout, <laughs> whatever you want to consider that. There you go, and there you go. So there is that. And here I'm going to let everyone go. And there is one more thing we need to take care of, and that's a food station and a water point. So food station has a pretty good range, but if I place it on this side, it cannot deal with this. So I need it somewhere here, close to the industry and close to this. This will be a place where they can go and get food when they are hungry. So uh, do I want to place you right there and the water point, I can place you behind it or right next to it. Actually, I think right next will be good. Because people will go to the closest area to get what they need. So there is that. What's our storage like? Storage is halfway. I might need to invest in another one of these very soon, but maybe not just yet. Ah, oh, yes. The new workshop is ready. Now... This will be the last thing we build on this episode, and that's a decontamination post. So this will create decontamination kits, which we use to remove radiation from food. And people really don't like that near them. So, since my population is on this side, I will continue building the industry on this side. Wrong button. So if I place you here, you do not show me.
Why do you not show me the negative? You definitely negatively affect this. Okay, well, let's give it a second to be built. Have a few extra people. I'm gonna put a few more on water. Ah, see, we just lost water because of events. Thanks, game. Uh, need more herbs. People are losing a lot of... Uh, their health. You're still collecting stuff. You're good. I need a bit more wood, so take another forester. Have a few more people. Uh, we have an incoming drought with a pretty big population, so push more water. And I'll give them one more builder. We heard about marauding groups that are making the surrounding area unsafe. Our settlers want you to initiate measures to defend them against possible raid attacks. And that will be the mission for the next episode. Getting a research station and getting some basic defenses going. Because they incorporated raiders in the game, and during their original... Um, Appearance, they were horribly unbalanced and very bad for the game. But they have done some improvements. The system is definitely not very intuitive, but it's not as horrible as it used to be. Now, the decontamination one, this area is where it will actually deliver its kits. So I wanted to cover pretty much all of those locations. I'm going to place one person here and I want to build up to 50. And this is where we're going to end today's episode. Thanks everyone very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment, like, subscribe, you know, all the usual stuff. Let me know what you think about the game. The game, And if you have any tips or tricks for me, leave them in the comments below. Bye-bye.